in LN it is necessary to define the general parameters to be used by factory track. These can be found in the common menu under warehouse mobility general parameters. If we open this we have the factory track implemented. This needs to be selected if factory track is implemented in a site. We then have five tabs, receipt, picking, production, transfer and general. The receipt tab contains the parameters needed for the receiving transactions in factory track. We can select whether we wish to receive an inventory unit. If we do not select this, we receive in purchase unit. We can also say whether each receipt is a final receipt. If we deselect this, then we can choose whether a receipt is a final receipt or not. We could, for the generation of receipt number, we can either use the default series from the inventory handling parameters, or we can deselect that and enter our own receipt series. On the picking tab, the predefined stage location for pick pack is no longer needed for factory track that is used for old warehouse mobility. The stage run number is used throughout the picking process to update the run number on the picked items. The pick zone is used to determine which items have actually been picked on a pick list. We can then select whether to allow an overpick for production raw material issue or for transfer order issue and if so what tolerance percentage and whether these should be a hard stop or not. On the production tab we can specify whether back flush is allowed, whether we should report the order complete when the last operation is updated. We can specify whether or not we wish to have questions during report operation and report order procedures. Normally factory track does not display questions for operators to answer but if this is required at a particular installation then these boxes should be selected. Production history indicates whether we are actually going to keep track of all the reporting that is done using factory track and then we can track over order issues and specify the over issue number group and over issue number series. On the transfer tab we can determine whether we generate warehouse order for transfers within the same warehouse. This is needed primarily when we wish to print labels as part of that activity. And we can choose whether we want to use a default transfer order type in series or whether we should use a specific one that is purely for factory trap purposes. On the general tab, we have a username for profile template. This is a general username that is used to determine things such as devices and so on. And then we have the reference identifier implemented. The reference logic is used throughout factory track to allow a single field to be used to scan in either a handling unit, a lot number or a serial number. If this is not implemented then these boxes are, are deselected. We can also specify which is the priority. So is it handling unit first, then lot number, then serial number. 